we're back. Welcome to Vivid Lawn and Landscape. Uh, wanted to just jump in and do a quick review of the Echo uh, PB2620. Um, not a bad little blower. I'm actually really impressed with this thing. Uh, I wrote down some stats over here. Uh, I did a comparison of the uh, Steel uh, BR550. So it's the only thing I had to compare it to. Uh, that's a traditional backpack blower. This obviously is a handheld blower. Um, interestingly enough, uh, we'll see the displacement on the engine is, is pretty significant. Uh, the BR is, it's an older blower. I mean, that thing, it may be 10 years old at this point. I don't even know. Uh, it's my father's blower. He barely uses it. I borrow it, you know, once a year, twice a year when I need to do some stuff around the yard. Um, and it's, it's convenient. It's the backpack blower. Um, but what I did find out is this, this PB2620 actually can hold its own uh, for the most part with that backpack blower. Now, the engine is significantly smaller, so the displacement on the BR550 uh, is a 64.8 cc engine. This is a 25 0.4 cc engine on this echo so a much smaller engine I'd say obviously a third of what the the BR has in it uh, for for an engine um, now the max air velocity uh, was about 75 uh, miles per hour different so on the BR 550 you put it's pushing at about 252 miles per hour and the echo was pushing at about 172 miles per hour so 75 miles per hour different, um, but again, I didn't, I didn't feel like I noticed that much of a difference uh, in the Echo. And you'll see, I did, a, I did a video comparison kind of blowing. I had blown with the BR uh, for most of the day to blow a nice wall of leaves uh, up in the field area of my yard. And um, once I got that, the, that wall basically about consistent across the, the face of the wall as far as the depth of the leaves and the, and the width of it and everything, I went and got the Echo and gassed that up, got that fired up, warmed up, and I did a comparison, side-by-side -side comparison of the two blowers. And I will say the Echo, uh, for some reason, just did a better job, and maybe it's the wide tip, I'll shoot a, a couple uh, images of the, the tip on the, the two of them. Um, so the wide mouth tip on the Echo, I think did a much better job actually cleaning the area up, you know, in the first pass as I was walking and just blowing the area. Um, the, the steel, I had to go back and then re-blow the area to kind of get some of the scragglers. And the tip on that is much narrower, and I don't think it was actually pushing as much air uh, or, or being as efficient as the Echo was. Um, so the, the max air volume at, the, um, at each of the tips was, was pretty close. It was 456 CFM for the Echo and 547 CFMs uh, for the, the steel. So, they're both, you know, kind of pushing that 450, you know, well, I guess the steel is about 550. So there's about 100 CFM difference um, at the tip and about, again, a 75 mile per hour difference between the two. But the Echo, you know, with a third of the engine of the steel actually did a great job. Um, now, maybe it's, you know, just years of advancement. Again, that steel I know is discontinued when I was looking up the stats online. It's, it's a discontinued blower, so uh, it, is, it is pretty old. Uh, maybe the, the technology and, and whatnot over the years has allowed them to get more out of the engines. Um, and again, it's a handheld blower, so it's, it's, they're trying to keep the weight down, so the engine's not going to be as big and it's not going to be as, um, you know, robust as the backpack blower um, but all in all I gotta say man for this steel you know I think I think my father paid $400 for that backpack blower might have might have been even 450 uh, when he bought it um, and I paid 199 for this little echo uh, blower and super impressed super impressed I'm gonna roll the video footage and you guys can check it out and see what you think 
But um, yeah, I mean, it did a really good job. And I think for what I'm gonna use it for, as far as kind of blowing the driveways and the walkways after the cut and the trim uh, and the edging, it should be fine. It's gonna be more than, than what I need. What I'm surprised at is how well it did blow in the leaves. And I think I may end up doing, you know, I may get into a little fall cleanups uh, with it or, it, or it may have its place, you know, in tight areas. Uh, in certain situations, so we'll see. But uh, check out the video, guys, uh, and we'll we'll uh, we'll see you back here in a minute. So as you can see guys, the side-by-side -side comparison of the two blowers, not all that different. And I will say the Echo did a better job covering the area in that first pass. Now, I didn't really, you know, time it to see, you know, how much, uh, how long it took. The, the steel definitely needed more cleanup. I had to come back and re-blow the area um, and clean up a second time, even a third time in some of those little areas. Whereas with the Echo, I didn't. And that may be that wide mouth, um, you know, uh, baffle on the Echo. So I don't know guys, again, this is, you know, take it for what it's worth. Uh, ultimately, I think, you know, you can make the $200 investment in this blower and be extremely happy if you don't have a huge yard or you're not blowing a ton of leaves. I think you can definitely do it with the Echo uh, and be happy with it. If you're gonna get into you know, a, a big job, you, know, you have a big yard or you have a lot of leaves, um, then you may want a backpack blower because obviously you're gonna be out there a lot longer, you're gonna be holding the blower and, and you know, doing a bunch of blowing. Uh, and and you know, the time uh, that, you, that you're holding on to the thing you know, and, and kind of, uh, you know, the time you're taking to do it, I guess, is, is it could be a factor. And to have the backpack blower, it's much more ergonomic and, and it's, it's much more comfortable if you're gonna be out there for a long time doing it. So uh, that's it, guys. That's, that's the quick review on the Echo PB2620. Um, thanks for stopping by. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, subscribe, come back in, check back in for some more videos. Again, I'm gonna try and get content up as, as quick as I can, and I'm gonna try and keep them short so, uh, so we can get you guys to, uh, to like the videos and to uh, come back and check out some more. So take it easy, guys. Thanks for stopping by. We'll check you next time. Guys, real quick, I just wanted to throw this in here. I promised you an image of the tips, the difference in tip, but on the left here is the BR550. Uh, and then on the right is the Echo PB2620. And so quickly, we'll just throw a tape on there. That's a three inch tip on the Echo. And we've got about a two and a quarter inch tip on the steel. So that right there is the difference. It's only about three quarters of an inch. Um, I thought it was actually gonna be greater than that, but um, I do think the wide mouth uh, throw on the Echo Definitely made a difference in uh, in some of this comparison. So that's it, guys. Thanks a lot. Check